All right, so I just had a customer drop this manifold off. Wants the opening to match the throttle body. It's a K2 and throttle body. And looking at it, it's about six millimeters larger. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but basically what you wanna do to get this matched, rather than just guessing, is you wanna use the throttle body that you're actually gonna open it up to. I'm gonna put some bolts in here so it lines up correctly. Believe it or not, sometimes the factory opening is not exactly centered. So if you measure it, let's say three millimeters bigger all the way around, and open it, the hole might be actually offset. If you look in here, you can see, see actually how much it overhangs. See that, it's quite a bit. Scribing tool. Usually I do this on the bench, I won't be holding it on my hip. And mark exactly what is hanging out here. So I don't know if you can see that. See if I can get my camera to focus. Uh, you can see that line. Let's give it away. Well, no, it's Italian. <laughs> Fragile. Fragile. <laughs> Fragile. It's a major award. Yeah. I gotta open it and do the major award thing. It might be a bowling alley. Okay, so if you don't know what this is, it's a TV for the dining room. It was uh, the one TV I have in that spot is a 42 inch, and the other one's like a 27, <laughs> 32. Well, we're basically going to put the 42 where the 32 was, and this one is a 55. It seems like it's cheaper than buying glasses, because sitting on the dyno, I can't read the graph from where I'm sitting in the car, so rather than buying glasses and looking like I'm more intelligent than I actually am, I figure it's cheaper just to buy a bigger TV. So there's the TV. Yeah, if you could put that in the dyno room. I am team lift. And he can help. So that's it. I won't think we need to unbox it here. We should probably take it over to the other shop because it'll be easier to carry. It'll put in the back of a truck right now. I know, but aren't we just trying to plug it in first? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's plug it in. Okay. Let's see if we can get the blue screen out of it. What is it? It's a zip tie. It was going to cost us eighteen dollars a year to run this thing. Oh my goodness. She just yank it. I don't, it'll rip off the whole back of the TV. Well, if it does, we'll put it back in the box and we'll say it don't work. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to use that? No, 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 thing. Well, what else you? Are you holding it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, let's see. All right, don't cut through the wire. I know, I don't like razor blades. Don't cut towards yourself. I need, well, I have to. You're supposed to cut, to, cut I, away from yourself. I know, I'm not. There's a light on. Nope, oh, I heard a click. There it is. You just yes. said Sony. Yes. It works. Okay, so after installing the TV, hanging it on the wall, sitting in a car, realized it wasn't big enough. The TV we replaced was a 48 inch, not a 42. So 48 to 55, it's not very big. Okay, so like we talked about, the TV that I thought would be big enough is not big enough. That one is going back. Care of our favorite UPS driver. We should put the truck on the dyno. Bruce, let's do it. <laughs> what do you think it'll make? Oh, yeah, I don't know. 180 or something pounds. with some race fuel in it? It's got to make more than the FedEx guys. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> so back to the continuing saga of how big of a TV can we possibly get in the dyno room because I can't see it when I'm on the dyno. This is the replacement TV. We got rid of the Sony 55 inch. Now we got this guy. And the crazy thing is you can't find a normal just regular TV these days. It has to be super ultra high definition TV, 4K, blah, blah, blah. You can't get a regular dummy TV anymore. Um, this, even though it's a 65 inch UHD TV, um, don't know how up on TVs you are, but they make about 10 different models of this TV ranging from $800 up to two grand. And they're all 65 inch ultra duper 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 TV. But this is a lower model number, so we're not that baller, but. 
detailed unboxing of the big Samsung 65 inch. Hopefully I can see the Dynograph better TV. I'm not gonna make this too excited because I mean, you know what it looks like in the box, right? It's just a TV. It smells like gas. It does. What kind of TV is this? <laughs> it's flammable. Look at that. Extremely. Dinner tray. Yeah. That's why we're a big ass TV dinner when you sit here. <laughs> what put is your this? chips there. Oh look, it's the... Uh, That's the handlebars. It's the... That's the handlebars for the motorcycle vroom, I ordered. Vroom. It's that a Samsung be, motorcycle. That'd be a big one. <laughs> Don't it make you feel comfortable having an S2000 exhaust propped up right against a big ass TV? Still went for the customer to pick that up. We finished it last week. Anyway, let's see if I can see myself. Another spark plug cover. This one is actually in really nice shape. But you know what? I can make it look a little bit better. Can you see that? Wait a second, what the hell is that? What? Look on the bottom of the screen. Can't see it. There's a big chunk. Is that crap in the tape? I don't know. Lift it out of the sponge. Oh, it's busted. Yeah. Yeah, that's the screen. Yeah, that's the screen. Can you, you believe that? Let me see if this even comes up. Look at this. You see that? That's actually the laminate of the screen. Look at that. Oh, you can see it more too. I don't know if the camera will pick it up though. Look at this. There's Is a it, line going all the way up the television. Can't really see that. Yeah, you can see all kinds of stuff in here. And the packaging is fine. That's the packaging. Well, it's broken there. It's broken on this section. And there's a bend in the cardboard. I bet this thing's been dropped. You know what? It's Bruce's fault. Yeah, it is. He's our UPS guy. So I'm guessing there's going to be a part two to this TV install. Actually, we might just make it a whole video. Actually, we should do a video on the reboxing of a TV. <laughs> now, that's what people are looking for. Right. Epic reboxing. But wait, there's more. Look at that, we didn't even get to open. We didn't even get to open the stuff and take the batteries out like. Bruce is gonna come rolling up and go, what the heck are you guys doing with TVs? <laughs> Every day it comes, it comes with a return label for a, tele for a television. You Bruce ain't us. Yeah. All right, I guess the next one is gonna be a 75. I hope the 75 works because I don't think they make one bigger. Actually, I'm sure they do, but they can't afford it. So far, so good. We don't see any cracks. The screen looks like it might actually show a picture. I don't know. See George on TV already. Yeah. Still in the uh, installing it stage. If you're wondering what that rope is for, I made an aluminum mount for the back, and there's a mount that screws to the wall. And I can't really see it, but just in case one of those thugs oh, or something comes loose, we're hoping the rope will catch it. Is it supposed to do that? Well, I guess this is the first startup deal. Well, that does more than what the other one did. Welcome to Samsung TV. This one isn't broken. So if this connects to our Wi-Fi, that'll be pretty amazing. Wow, look at that. The internet. That's amazing because our computer doesn't even range from here. 
We want Dino. Click the Dino app. Do they have one? I have no way you go to that. Click Dino. Your TV is ready to Dino. This is the reflection of me and George just standing here looking at it. <laughs> Yes! I sit here. I can see the inside. I recognize that. It's almost full size. That car looks like that car. Without a shower cap on. Yeah. Oh, that's bright. I brightened it up. Yeah. Expert settings? No. Put on pair of glasses settings. That's backlight, brightness, contrast, sharpness, color, tint. Picture settings, digital clean view. Let's, let's look at that. Pair of binoculars? Oh, it's pretty good. That's good enough. At least okay. it works. Color it's tone? so much better than what the other one did. And now it's a 65 inch. Okay, so who knew it would take us this long to find a TV that works? Who knew that you'd watch this video for 12 minutes watching us play around with TVs? TV works, I've tuned three cars three cars and everything has been good. It just says me getting off the dyno, looking at the TV, walking back. The dyno's 20 inches off the ground, so it's just sometimes a hassle, especially if you get a car with a cage. Uh, I like to look at the graph versus my fuel tables and my timing tables. I like to film the tailpipe, you've seen that. I tune very conservative and I try and tune very safe. So the more information I can get to tune, the better the tune will be. I'm gonna cram some stuff at the end of this just so you got some car related stuff. You've sat and watched the video this long. I've gotta give you something. And I appreciate you watching, subscribe, click the thumbs up button, make a cool comment, make a stupid comment. I guess it's all good. I'm still kinda of new to YouTube, but apparently any thumbs up or thumbs down is a good, good for your channel. So thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Okay, so this is part two of what did LHT get in the mail? Talking to you again soon online. I trust you guys with anything. Please like and subscribe to LHT Performance. So is this what George was making? Operation Panini. Spatula machine. <laughs>